What is VSync? Well, simply put, it's a way to make your video games look better. Your monitor has a certain refresh rate, an amount of times that it changes the image shown on your screen. Your game also updates at a certain refresh rate. Now, those refresh rates don't have to be the same. Or even if they are the same, your monitor may be refreshing while your game software is still figuring out the next frame of the game. And then your game software updates while your monitor is in the process of refreshing. That causes a phenomenon known as screen tearing, where there's this weird horizontal line across the screen. That's because one half of the image is the next frame and the other half is the frame before. Your monitor and game refresh rates are not synced up. VSync stands for Vertical Sync, Vertical Synchronization. It's an option that basically means your game and your monitor are refreshing at the same time, so you don't get that screen tear. The problem? To do this, your system needs to calculate the timing to keep them synchronized, and on lower-end systems, that can make your game run poorly. Even on particularly high-end systems, you're essentially delaying what the software is doing to match up with your monitor, which can introduce things like button lag, and that's not great for certain things like fighting games. Modern-day VSync algorithms are really good, though, so you don't usually notice this as long as you have a decent machine. But some games, like King of Fighters 15, have really shitty VSync options, and that can introduce a lot of lag into your gameplay experience. For the most part, you are not sacrificing anything by turning VSync on, though, and in general, I would recommend it. But if you are experiencing performance issues, VSync might be one of the reasons. The only problem is, you turn it off, you get screen tearing again.